Frustrated and exhausted, this customer had reached their wit's end dealing with a persistent cockroach infestation. After discovering this problem, they attempted to use various do-it-yourself products over the past four months, desperately trying to rid their space of these unwelcome guests. If you're determined to avoid finding yourself in a similar situation, join me as I guide you through a step-by-step -step process to effectively eliminate these roaches. I'm on the way to do a cockroach service right now. It is a rainy, gloomy Thursday morning here in the mountains of Western North Carolina, but the rain and gloom and cold does not stop the roaches. The German cockroaches, they are infesting this customer's house and I am headed there now and we're gonna take care of every single cockroach today. I just went inside and talked to the customer and they definitely have roaches, so we're getting everything prepared right now. I've got glue boards, Teco Trio foam, Doxamin XT spray, Teco Trio. We're going to use the uh, Doxum Precise Delivery System today. It's a pretty, pretty heavy infestation, I would say. I just did a, a couple quick peeks with my flashlight and saw a ton of live roaches, a ton of dead ones, lots of babies, so this should be a really good service. I'm just gonna go inside and like normal, I'll just spray the baseboards and then bring you back out when things start getting juicy, when I start, you know, tearing open cabinets and seeing where the cockroaches are hiding. So, see you in just a second. The first major hotspot I discovered was around the kitchen island in a German cockroach infestation. If a kitchen has an island, it is very common for this to be a major hotspot for the infestation. This is because kitchen islands are often a major food preparation area for the person living there. Think about it. Where do you prepare food? on the island. Inevitably, there will be food particles left there at the end of every day that leaves the roaches with the perfect accessible food source. Believe it or not, for the same reason that kitchen islands are common areas for roaches to infest, dining room tables are also very common areas for roaches. That is not the case in today's video, but you wouldn't believe the number of times that I have found cockroaches nesting on the underside of dining tables where people eat multiple times a day. Just think about how close those roaches would be to your legs when you sit down to eat. Now, as I do in every cockroach infestation, I'm pulling back the refrigerator. I do this in order to properly treat the area that, in my opinion, is the number one area German roaches like to infest. As you can see here, this home's infestation was no exception. I never think twice about it now, but man, these cockroaches can run fast. I remember when I was first starting in my career, I was so impressed, but also terrified by how fast the roaches could run. As I zoom in here, take a look at how many Uthika shells there are in just this one tiny area. There are at least 20 Uthika pictured in this photo. Uthika is the technical term for cockroach egg sacs. Each Uthika attains on average 35 baby cockroaches. With some quick math, there are enough egg sacs to hatch over 700 baby cockroaches. The baby roaches hatch completely self-sustaining and ready to infest your kitchen. Next, I would like to draw your attention to the three three female roaches on the left side of this screen. One reason German cockroaches are so successful is because the females carry the Uthika throughout the gestational period. This means that the babies are better protected from predators and this increases their likelihood of survival. These three females have more than 100 baby roaches between the three of them waiting ready to hatch at any second. It's not enough to just pull back the refrigerator. I now have to remove the cardboard on the lower back portion. This covering, which is usually cardboard but is sometimes metal on heavy duty brands, houses all the guts like the wires, motor, and condensation pan. Although maybe I shouldn't say that I have to remove it, but I always do if I'm able to. Behind here is often an even better hiding spot for these roaches because it is darker and there is more heat and moisture. It is very important to treat behind here because if this area is left untreated, the roaches actually have access to everything they need to survive without coming in contact with any of my other treatments. Here I am using one of my go-to products, Doxum NXT. This product is a pressurized solution made by CSI Pest that kills roaches on contact and leaves behind a residual. 
This product has four active ingredients, which means it is extremely unlikely that a cockroach population will ever develop a resistance. Next, I'm using another state-of-the-art product called Doxum Precise. This product is a dry bait that leaves tiny particles the roaches can't resist. Doxum Precise is a dry, flowable bait formulation that is non-staining, long-lasting, and easy to apply. It is specifically designed to flow through the precision delivery system, penetrating deep into cracks, crevices, and voids where these cockroaches live and breed. The cockroach life cycle begins with the egg stage. Female German cockroaches carry an egg case containing multiple eggs. Once deposited, these eggs hatch into nymphs. Nymphs are the second stage of the life cycle. Unlike the adults, nymphs are smaller and lack fully developed wings. They go through several molting stages to accommodate their growth. This brings us to the concept of instars. An instar is a stage between two consecutive molts. German cockroach nymphs go through six to seven instars before reaching adulthood. These instars are marked by gradual changes in size and appearance. Nymphs are typically darker and more uniformly colored than the adults. As they molt and mature, their bodies developed the distinctive light brown coloration and dark stripes that we associate with the German cockroaches. Finally, we arrive at the adult stage. Adult German cockroaches are capable of flight and reproduction. Their streamlined bodies and fully developed wings distinguish them from their earlier nymph stages. Although it is very unlikely to see adult cockroaches flying, I have seen it though before. The products I use often interfere with the nervous system of the cockroach. They can disrupt neurotransmission, essentially overstimulating or blocking the nerve signals. This leads to paralysis and ultimately the demise of the pest. Precision is crucial in my treatment. I strategically apply these chemicals in areas where German cockroaches are most active. Common hot spots include obviously around the kitchen, bathroom, and areas with food sources. Courses. By focusing on these areas, I maximize the impact. One of my favorite parts of a German cockroach treatment is finding random hiding spots that a small population of roaches has found. I'm not talking about the classic roach nests behind the refrigerator. I'm talking about what you are seeing in this video. This is the underneath side of a cabinet on the far edge of the kitchen. I first noticed some droppings nearby and took a closer look to find this pair of antenna sticking out. When there's one roach, there's often more. I treated it with Doxum NXT and just waited a couple seconds. And honestly, a few more seconds. I waited almost a minute for this group of cockroaches to finally get flush out of their hiding spot. But man, it is satisfying when they finally do fall out. I get asked a lot what I do with the dead roaches at the end of the treatment because sometimes when I get done, it just looks like a battlefield of dead roaches. The truth is, I currently do not do anything with the dead roaches. I leave it up to the customer to clean it up. However, I'm going to start implementing a vacuuming portion of my treatment in the future to increase the value of the service I'm providing the customer. Although sometimes I think leaving out all of the dead roaches for the customer to see kind of makes them realize how many roaches they had and what kind of service I provided them. The back of the refrigerator, I pulled off the cardboard. It is absolutely covered in cockroach droppings, all of those black dots, but all of those little dots, God, I mean, they're all over my fingers right now. I'm gonna have to wash them off, but all those little dots are cockroach droppings. They poop in the same areas for a reason. The reason they poop in all these same areas is to let the other cockroaches know that, hey, this is a good place to hide. It's warm, it's safe, there's food sources nearby. And there's not as many over here. This was a safer area than this area. This was actually the inside of the refrigerator. And I mean, there was something right there, something warm that was causing the cockroaches to gather and to, to poop all in that same area. So many droppings. I mean, this is this is months and months of cockroach activity. There was just another circumstance where I didn't feel that the situation with, with the customer was right for me to just talk throughout the service, but I'm happy to still film and voiceover. Sometimes I think it's better. I can really organize my thoughts and give you some really, really in-depth analysis of the cockroach treatment instead of just kind of winging it which is easier planning and it's easier for me to edit the video, but, but it's much more difficult to voice over afterwards. So hopefully you still enjoyed the cockroach treatment even though it was just a voiceover. I'm headed to my next job now, but 
I wanted to talk to you about this particular situation with the customer. He actually brought it up to me. He wanted to do a regular quarterly service. Well, I recommended the quarterly, but he was he said something to me along the lines of, "Can you come back like every every few months to make sure I don't get these roaches again?" And I was happy to give him a quote for a quarterly service. That's what I recommend for something like that. A normal quarterly service for someone who hasn't had a history of German cockroaches in their kitchen, we just treat the exterior perimeter of the house. That's going to eliminate the ants, the wasps, the spiders, the earwigs, the normal normal bugs, but this, this person has a history of cockroaches and honestly, because they've had cockroaches before, it makes them predisposed to getting them again. And like I said earlier, it's not always just cleaning. There's a number of factors that go into German cockroach infestations. Cleaning is a big one, but this customer in this situation, the kitchen was just cluttered and it's hard to clean when there's a bunch of stuff everywhere. They really don't need much food at all. If you have any questions about how to keep German cockroaches out of your house preventatively, just drop them in the comments. That's my goal of this channel is to help help you, the viewer, be educated on the pest control industry about how to prevent pests, how to get rid of pests, and how I get rid of pests. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very, very soon. Peace.